Hey guys, this is Oricon and I'll be doing part 2 of my March Madness pickups video. I know I just did part 1 yesterday and I had said I was probably going to do this at the end of the month but um, I didn't realize how crazy I was and a lot of this stuff has actually been piling up uh, for a while. So I'll end up actually might doing part 3 at the end of the month and like I said, I went a little bit crazy, but I'm definitely going to hold off on buying anything additionally, uh, at least until April. And, and that's only because I'll be in Japan in April, and I'm sure there will be plenty of stuff there that will try to kind of tempt me. Uh, with its gaming wiles, and literally try to kill my wallet, so I'll have to watch out and see what happens. So let's get right into it. I will start with the PS1. And I've been kind of on an anime game kick lately. So I saw this and uh, decided to pick it up. Silent M Mobius Case Titanic. Now the reviews uh, don't seem to be very good for this game. But you know, I was a pretty big fan of Silent Mobius back in the day so I couldn't hurt to try it out for a you know, pretty cheap price next for the PS1 is Galarian's once again not very good reviews but then again you know school reviews uh, they suck anyway so gotta see for yourself this is a I believe this is a survival horror game, kind of overshadowed by uh, Resident Evil during its time. So, yeah, it could be good if you're a fan of survival horror. I think. Obviously, I haven't played it yet, because so I just got it. And next is an Atlas title, which I'm sure all of you will be will know about already. And, you know, kind of had to pick it up and catch up on you guys. This is the famous game Aishia, right? We all know about this Atlas title. Uh, yeah. <laughs> know nothing about it. Haven't heard anything about it from anybody so far. But it is an RPG and it's by Atlas, so it's got to be good, right? I mean, who knows? This is way back when, so... So obviously, you know, they've made good games before the PS1. And so that's about wraps it up for the PlayStation 1. Now moving on to the next generation, the PS2. Like I said, I've been on the anime kick lately. So I got uh, Kokak Kidotai, Standalone Complex. Now let me talk about this for a second. This game looks awesome. I've been trying to find a copy for a while and the anime from which it's based on uh, well let me go let me go ahead and say I'm a big fan of Ghost in the Shell the original comics and I did not like the movie so much it was kind of overhyped and you know it had a really different drawing style from the comic and so I was kind of off the series for a while, and just for kicks, I decided to watch Standalone Complex. And my God, Standalone Complex is, for me, so far the best anime series ever. Like, nothing has beaten it so far. So, if you haven't watched it, what are you doing? You need to go on. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think uh, there's uh, subtitles for it on Netflix. Though it could be wrong, they've been adding a lot of subtitles lately. But you need to get the subtitled version and watch it right now because it is the best anime that I've ever seen. The second season was uh, okay, but Standalone Complex was by far the best. So this game looks awesome, and I'm really excited to try it. 
Next is uh, Death by Degrees, starring Nina Williams from Tekken. I believe this was localized. Um, a lot of these titles might have been localized. In fact, I'm sure the standalone complex was. But since the PS2 is region locked and I only have one PS2, well actually I have two, but they're both Japanese systems. Um, I can't play a US games, so I have to import all my PS2 games. And actually bought my PS2 when I was living in Japan, so that's kind of how that went. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Doesn't seem that special from what I can tell. <clears throat> Next, I got the Saiban. So I'm a huge Ace Attorney fan. So, you know, I'm like an addict. So I'm out of Ace Attorney games. So I'm looking for kind of poor. Uh, kind of imitators and this one you know these simple series aren't and they're true to their name they're very simple so I'm not expecting much but you know more Saibon games why not next is a game from Square Enix that I've never heard about and never played which is uh, Hanjuku Hero and you guys might know about this series. Apparently there are four of these at, at the very least because this is number four. I'm not sure what kind of game this is. But it looked cool enough. You know, all these little guys on the screen there. So, thought I'd try it out. Next is another game I know nothing about for the PS2. It's Hagashini Ikoyo or Let's Go Look. <laughs> Uh, the graphics look kind of rough. You know, pretty early PS2. But, you know, you can't judge a game by its graphics. It could be a good game, or not. I guess time will tell. So that about does it for my PS2 pickups. And for the DS, I picked up um, Flower, Sun, and Rain. Yeah, by Marvelous. Yeah, I, I like Marvelous Entertainment games in general. This one, the graphics look a little bit rough, but you know, I just got finished done with. Uh, I just got done playing 999, and you know, I was kind of got really into those kind of games, so I added this to collection, you know, puzzles and mystery solving. Yeah, and once again, another. An anime game, Evangelion for the PSP. Yeah, I don't have anything in particular to say about this. Not a big Evangelion fan, but uh, recently the remakes look pretty good, so I, I do want to check those out when I get a chance. And then finally the grand hurrah for this video is this guy. This is going to be out of focus because it's fat, but this is the Vita TV. And I have a big story about this. Well, the TV, Vita TV itself, you know, I kind of overpaid a little bit. I didn't know it was going to be so tiny. I probably could have consolidated it with the rest of my stuff. Um, but you know, it's it, it. I watched a couple of videos on it, and people are surprised at how how little it is. And I was like, yeah, okay, it's gonna be little. I, I get it, but really, when you get it in your hand, you, it's it is it's 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 really little. I mean, it's like a it's like a cell phone, kind of. You know, one of those. Smaller than a cell phone, like especially you know, smaller than those big Samsung cell phones, but it is just a tiny little thing. And the box is just huge, um, and all it has, I, I didn't get the value pack, all it has in the rest of this big hole is just cables and adapters and stuff. But I got this because I'm hoping uh, I can capture gameplay footage so the other order I'm waiting on Amazon this is just a regular American Amazon 
and that that's not coming for a while even though I kind of ordered these around the same time you know this this came from Japan and uh, came twice as fast but anyway whatever but I'm hoping uh, that with an HDMI splitter I can kind of capture Vita gameplay footage and the other nice thing is that I've kind of been my life has been trapped by this stupid stupid retarded card game called Kaksansei Million Arthur and so now I can kind of load that on here on this guy that my Japanese account and then kind of go back to the games I wanted to really play on the Vita but turns out the same day that I got this guy I got a double S rank and on my card deck and I really have no reason to play that stupid game anymore it's just the dumbest most re it's not even a game just press 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 card whatever so I don't <laughs> recommend you guys play it because it's addictive like in the worst way possible and you know it it can be a money sinkhole if you kinda get trapped in that whole gotcha comp scheme so evil anyway so that about does it I'm going to set this up uh, right after this and hopefully when my other package comes I'll be able to see if I can capture gameplay footage so that about does it for part two of my pickups video thanks for watching and I will see you next time